views expressed on this program are those of the hosts, guests, and callers, and are not necessarily those of the station, its management, or other advertisers. You're listening to Transformation Talk Radio. Welcome to the Angels and Answers Psychic Radio Show with clairvoyants Artie Hoffman and Sky Siegel. Artie is renowned psychic, medium, spiritual life coach, and entertaining motivational speaker. Sky's given talent of inner guidance gives her the ability to interpret feelings and images impressed upon her by the spirit world. Call now for answers from your guardian angels and loved ones at 800 930 2819. And now, here are your hosts, Artie and Sky. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to another week of Angels and Answers with Artie Hoffman and Sky Siegel. It's me. How are you, Artie? Is it you? That's me. Did she look in the mirror? I think it's me. I don't know. Uh-uh. <laughs> I think it's me. You're not looking like but yourself. Pinch your, old, me. <laughs> your old self was a lot heavier. Your little skinny little thing. Oh, you. I love you. <laughs> He's so sweet. I'm very proud of Sky. Uh, she you. has lost a lot of weight and she lost a lot of inches Thank and you. her boobs still remain huge <laughs> and and she gave up cigarette smoking and yes. it's seven days no cigarettes yeah. congratulations thank you so tell the world what you did to give up cigarette smoking because that's amazing what i did was i found out about this seminar and this doctor in staten island and i was very reluctant he only charged 150 dollars, so i really didn't think much but i was going to try kind of it anyway was he's he? actually a doctor he's actually a chiropractor and he's also a holistic doctor so I went there and he gives you this big lecture on um, why you should believe in yourself and why you really don't need to smoke cigarettes and how it's an oral fixation and you're better than that. But most importantly, he takes this little device and he trigger points your ear. Uh, there's a nervous system in your ear where he trigger points these little nerve endings and um, he promises you that you will walk out of there with no cravings, that you will walk out of there never feeling a craving. You will not gain weight. You will not be nasty or biachi. And you will have no, no horrible cravings at all. So I said, yeah, okay, all right. So for all of you sex addicts, I wouldn't totally want to do that. <laughs> don't because go. Because you don't go. <laughs> because it you works. Don't want to, <laughs> it works too good. <laughs> yeah. So he tells you to come in at 5 o'clock, and he also tells you to bring the remainder of your cigarettes with you from the day. So now I had this pack of cigarettes in my bag that I haven't even opened, and then I had an open pack, which I had about two left in. So I said to my niece, my niece went with me and my brother-in-law, and I said, look, when he says to give up the cigarettes, I'm keeping the the new pack and I'm giving him the old pack with the two cigarettes in it. Because I felt that I went in in a defeatist manner. I felt that it wasn't going to work. Well, by the time the man zapped me and by the time it was ready to leave and I was supposed to give up my cigarettes, I gave the man not only my open pack, but I gave him my clothes pack so willingly that I could not believe it. Because she just, the reason why, because after so many hours of being in this seminar and when she finished, she didn't feel antsy because, you know, being, hanging with Sky, it's like every, forget about an hour, a half hour, she has to run to get a cigarette. Right. And it irritated myself personally. Yeah. Uh, not, you know, it's it just like, I can't believe uh, that, you know, to be addicted to something so bad. And, and I had this conversation with Charity, my wife. And with her, it's coffee, and uh, she needs her cup of coffee. And I know a lot of you need your cup of coffee, that regardless, you know? See, and I gave up coffee when I started my diet. Well, and, thing, well, and I've he, been doing good on my diet. I've been doing phenomenal. Yeah, I have not cheated. Great, yeah. I have not cheated once. So he also gives you a little a little blast in the ear so that you don't gain weight while you're off the cigarette. Now, when you say uh, he gave you a blast in the ear, like describe it. What it is is this little tiny gun 
and he places it inside pressure points inside the inner ear. Not all the way in, it's just like where the cartilage is around the outer part and just inside on, above where your earlobe is. So he does that to me and he also, and it, it feels like pressure. It doesn't feel like pinching. It doesn't feel like electrocution. All it feels like is pressure. And it didn't even hurt. It didn't hurt a bit. As I was doing that, I actually closed my mind. I closed up my eyes and I, and I opened my mind and I said, this will work. This will work. This will work. So by the time oh, I got it, there, is it, oh okay. So this was before you got there. Yeah. You said, oh no, and this is while he was giving me those little pressure points. I for a second I thought you were saying that he said say affirmations. No, well he there is an affirmation that he gives you. He does, but this is what happened. I was there from five thirty to nine thirty. When I walked out of his place at 9.30, after not smoking for all those hours, I could not believe it. I did not want a cigarette. I and did the, not want it. And the funny thing is, Sky, you know, because we have our beliefs that we're going to be traveling yes. to do shows. And one of our biggest fears isn't so much as doing the show yeah. or speaking in front of people. Her biggest fear wasn't it wasn't even the fact of flying. Right. It was the fact of going that distance without a cigarette while Can flying. Can you believe that, folks? So I says, no, no. I says, no, this is not gonna hinder my career and my dreams and Artie's dreams. So when it was the right time in my life, spirit as usual intervenes, made me find the right guy, made me find the right diet. And I have been, thank you, God, thank you, spirits, thank you, all my ascended masters and all of my archangels and angels hey, for absolutely helping me do this. So what was his what was his reasoning on why it works? The like reasoning he, is yeah. because, um, first of all, he makes you realize that you're better than the cigarette. In other words, he'll tell you this. When you look at a, a person smoking, you get the feeling inside of you that, oh, my God, I'm punishing myself. I can't have that cigarette. I can't have it. But instead of punishing yourself and saying, I can't have it, you look at the person. Now, excuse my language. And he goes, you have to say that, poor bastard. <laughs> <laughs> and listen to this. You stay smoke free. And he, then he's got a 98% uh, um record on absolutely quitting smoking 98 percent. if you do it for one month without smoking he sends you a t-shirt you call him he sends you a t-shirt and on the t-shirt it says those poor bastards <laughs> <laughs> oh really yes that's right and, and the funny thing is that he doesn't make you look as though you're neglecting or missing out on this thing that you love so much in other words, he doesn't make you feel as though you're missing out on it. He's making you feel like, oh, wow, I have, I have successfully crossed over that glitch. So he's not making it seem like it's a sacrifice. Right. It is no sacrifice. It's not a sacrifice. It's, it, it's an accomplishment. Yeah. And that's the way he looks at the whole thing. Very good affirmations. He, there's an affirmation that he says, I'll get it for you in the next commercial. Um, there's an affirmation that he says that if you feel as though, you know, it only takes three days for actually the nicotine and tar to totally leave your system. Really? Yes. Only three days. Wow. Yeah. So after three days, you're physically, you're fine. There's no more tar and nicotine in your system. Is However. There, is there any cleansing process? What do I like drinking lots of water? Yes. Is he there tells a you drink a lot of water. He tells you shower two and three times a day. Really? Yes, to get that out of your pores, the cigarette smoke. Oh, my smell. God, yeah. Yeah, and he also tells you when you feel like do not ever substitute candy, lollipops, gum, or Twizzlers for the oral fixation of smoking because nine out of ten, you'll go back. So when people say, oh, forget the cigarette, stick a lollipop in your mouth, they're doing themselves the biggest injustice. 
That's one of the biggest injustice. You cannot, you cannot alter one thing for the other. You just got to stop what you're doing. Now, stop that. Now. now. Stop that. If I can stop it, anybody can. Now, and somebody. Can tell you. Now, there's a few people that are blowing smoke right at their screen right now. <laughs> now saying, screw I you. And now, it. <laughs> and now they're laughing, saying, I can't believe it. They really are psychics. Right? <laughs> no, and you know what else, folks? The best part is, the best part of this whole thing is you're putting on years to your life. It's fine. Honestly. Um, after the commercial break, because we're going to go to a commercial break in, the, in about another minute or two. Um, but after the commercial break, do you have uh, this guy's name and yes, number? Yes, I'm going to give it to you. Absolutely. Okay. I'm going to give you his name. I'm going to give you his number. And I'm going to read you an affirmation. It's so funny. And he says, you know, keep giving yourself positive affirmations. Not that, oh, I'm such a poor soul. I can't have a cigarette. No, you can have a cigarette if you want it. Do you really want it? Honestly, do you really want that stick to be your your slave? That you're a slave to that stick? Right, that and that's exactly how I looked at it. Whenever I saw you with a cigarette, or when anybody has an addiction, they literally are yes. a slave to that object or yes. to that thing. You uh, the, are. The only thing that I could agree with is if you are addicted to sex. <laughs> <laughs> it's not always a bad thing. Not always. Not always. But, but unless if you're cheating on your partner. If you're doing it with your partner umpteen times a day, that's, oh, that's okay. Fine. Can, that's that's wonderful. fine. Then it's a kind of a good thing. Yeah. All right. Well, listen, everybody, uh, we're going to go to a commercial break. Hopefully, Sky could find this fella's uh, oh, yes. number and, and website or whatever. Uh, right after uh, we get back. And guess what, folks? He's only $150. I told the guy. And he's worth every penny. I told the man, honey, you're charging way too little. All right. So stick around, everybody. We're going to be right back right after this commercial break. Is to end homelessness. My passion is living a green life. My dream is to end poverty. My passion is volunteering. My passion is making a difference. My dream is to cure Lyme disease. My passion is rebuilding communities. My passion is helping those in need. My passion is caring for the elderly. My dream is to find a cure for cancer. My dream is to leave a better world for my children. We all have that special passion, that lifelong dream that drives us to live our lives with meaning and to create a better world. No matter what drives you, we can all make an impact. Dr. Pat Basili is helping others make their dreams come true so we can all help make our world a better world. To learn more about how Dr. Pat is building a community of sharing hope, strength, funds, knowledge, and information, visit abetterworldcrowdfunding.com today. That's abetterworldcrowdfunding.com. We Carry the Light with host Dr. Susan Allison is the show that inspires you to find the light within and shine your light in the world. You'll hear from guests who model how to be the highest, brightest, most evolved, fulfilled, and conscious humans possible. Tune in each Thursday, 10 a.m. Pacific, 1 p.m. Eastern on TransformationTalkRadio.com and let Dr. Susan help you discover that you carry the unique light that only you can shine. Artie Hoffman is the hottest psychic with the warmest heart and the host of the hit show Angels and Answers. A renowned psychic, medium, spiritual life coach, and an entertaining motivational speaker, Artie has helped over 15,000 people with his amazing intuitive gifts, his passion, and his humor. Call 877-ANGEL-02 to schedule a personal reading or to have your own psychic Artie party. That's 877-ANGEL-02 and visit ArtieHoffman.com and Angels and answers on Facebook. 
called the Oprah of Radio by her listeners. Award-winning host Dr. Pat Basile is blowing the doors off of traditional talk radio. Get ready for an energizing delivery and powerful interviews with leaders in the field of human potential. Dr. Pat's fresh new perspective on living life full out has catapulted her show to the top of talk radio. Tune in and Dr. Pat will help you thrive instead of merely survive. Visit the drpatshow.com. That's T H E D R patshow.com for listening times in your area. Sky Siegel co hosts one of today's most popular psychic shows, Angels and Answers, with Artie Hoffman as she communicates healing messages from the spirit world. These messages can be astounding, enlightening, and life changing. Born with the God given talent of inner guidance and the amazing ability to heal, Sky has healed thousands of people. Schedule a reading with Sky now. Call 908 500 1474 and visit skyofangels.com. 1230 WBLQ. All right, welcome back, everybody. You're with Sky and Artie, the dynamic duo. We are amazing (laughs) listen folks before we go any further i promised that i would give you this doctor's name and let me tell you something he's and his phone number so get out your pen and pencils and paper and and lipstick so you could draw on the wall or whatever you gotta do let me tell you folks this could be the single most important thing you've ever done for yourself in your entire life. It's a very, very small investment for such a big, big accomplishment. It really is. I never, ask Audie, I, he never thought, and I never thought that I could ever put a cigarette down. And I've had many failures. Many failures. His name is Dr. Frank, F-R-I-N-K A, as an apple, N-A-S-S-O. NASO. Well, you started off with an A. Frank A. NASO. Frank period A. NASO. Oh, okay. Well, the way, the way you said it, you made it sound like that was a part of the oh, last no, name. Oh, no. It's his middle name. Frank A. NASO. Okay. So A is his middle name. Yeah, it's not a NASO. It's no. NASO. And his phone number is? 718-966-7100. And this is funny. As Sky is telling you his number, she's like showing the card to the screen. Like, <laughs> and she says, here, look at it. And she's looking at it from an angle and showing the screen. And funny? there's nothing on the screen because we're radio. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. I am. I'm like showing you. The, I'm like so in love with this technique. And then there is an affirmation. Now, like, like he said, in three days, your body is completely finished the withdrawal. But it's your mind. Mind. Now, it's your conscious having to put that conscious part of your cigarette smoking in your subconscious. Okay? So the way he says to do that is by repeating this mantra for five minutes straight. Listen to this. I hate him. I quit. I know I quit. I'm done. I'm free and I'm happy. Now, if you say that 60 times a day for one month, he guarantees that what's up in the front part of your brain will go into your subconscious and you will forget about even having any kind of desire or thought. That's the same thing that I say all the time with affirmations. And when you write down your affirmations and you write it down, you just don't read it, but you make it an action. So exactly. when you're saying your affirmations to God or to the universe and you're asking for your desires, whether it be the kind of partner you want, whether it be what you want in your life, I always, when I, when I do, when I t- talk to people about their personal desires or their goals, I tell them to write it down and write it down. And, and I go with them and, and, and I'm right with them and I help them write down their goals and say it in a certain way. So it's all positive. Right. And when you're writing it down and writing it down, like he said, you have to do it over and over and over again so that while you're reading it or while you're writing it, 
at first, when you're looking at this piece of paper of your affirmations, of your goals and desires, at first it just seems like words. But when you do it over and over and over again, it's a part of you. It becomes who you are. It's no longer like you're separate from these words or you're exactly. separate from these feelings, but this is who you are. And now it becomes 100% effortless. Right. And so it's like <laughs> everything in life. When you do something over and over and over again, and unfortunately, a lot of people do a lot of things in the negative over and over and over again, and they keep on getting the same bad results, waiting for positive things to happen. And it doesn't work like that. You have to change your words and your actions to make it more real, to make it more positive. You have to, you know, do it, you know, within your actions and say it over and over and over again. And this is why you see lots of people who are very successful, whether it be in the singing industry or in the comedy industry or acting or professional sports, they do their craft over and over and over again. It so that when their life. Yeah, so that when they perform, you know, they make it seem like it's effortless. Right. And and all these professional ice skaters, you know, when you see them on ice and they're doing backflips and, you know, do, twirling in the air three or four times, it's because they, they practice like, it's you know. It's like nothing to them. Yeah, it's like they practice like eight hours a day doing this like uh, six, six, seven days a week. Exactly. You know, so you have to be dedicated and, you know, you have to want it. That's the big thing. You have to want it. If you say, yeah, you know, I, I'll do it. You know, but if your heart's not into it, then right. it's really not going to happen. Right. So you really have to believe. And even if you don't believe, you have definitely got to plant that seed so far into your mind that it becomes a part of your desires and your soul. Even if you hope for it, which hoping isn't good, because when you say, I hope this will happen, that means you're no. leaving failure as an option. Yes. So when you say it's going to happen, I want to do it, it's within your desire of wanting to change or make things right or better. And this is how this Dr. NASA, NASA, he that's how he teaches you. And I think that's why I was very open to what he had to say, because he really teaches on a spiritual level, because he is holistic. And he's fantastic with every kind of addictions, including food addictions. And so when you are filled with all these, uh, you know, addictions, you know, you're, to you're, you're, you're putting lots of toxins in your body and yeah. in your soul and in your mind. And you need to cleanse yourself of these toxins and way of thinking and the way of doing so that you can get to where you want to be. Right. You know, a lot of people say, well, I've done everything and I've done this and I've it. done that. You and you have it. it. You think you have, right. but you really haven't because – you know, if you're if you're always bitching and complaining on a daily basis, how life sucks, how people suck, how they suck, and everything is just is not you know working. No matter what you do, it doesn't work. Well, obviously you haven't tried everything because you're still stuck. Right. And there is a way to get out of it. There is always a way to get out of it. And so you know, and and you know what, different different strokes for different folks. There are certain methods that work for different people. And this happened to work for Sky and a, and, a, and a slew of people who she happened to be in the room with. And um, like I said, this is a, a different opportunity for you to overcome any addictions or what you feel is blocking you. And it's not blockage just on nicotine or caffeine or whatever. It could be like a, a pattern habit. Maybe you're constantly attracting the wrong people in your life. Right. You know, it could be about anything of negativity, and this guy will help you overcome your addiction so that your soul will outpower your your ego. Correct. Correct. And I, you know, I was a, a I was a devout smoker. There was no way that anybody was going to. I mean, I heard every negative story. I heard every disaster. My daughter Jennifer has been trying to get me to stop smoking for umpteen years. This girl leaves pictures of dried up lungs when she comes in weird places in my house. Like I'll be cleaning my desk off and there'll be a picture of this dried out lung. And then she'll write on the bottom, this is what your lung is going to look like. <laughs> but I know we have a lot of callers, guys, and please bear with us. Um, I just thought this was so important for everybody 
to be able to heal from such a disgusting addiction and an addiction that man has given to us. It's not like a natural addiction, like to food or whatever. It's an addiction that a, by, that a company who's making trillions of dollars has bestowed upon the people all people, all walks of life. And I just felt as though it was so important to share this with you because if I can do it, anybody can do it. Believe me. So Yes, and she was an obsessive smoker, obsessive. Obsessive. And she quit cold turkey, and I'm very proud of her. One one after the other, guys, one after the other. And I want you to, t I want you to know no more bronchitis this year. I'm looking forward to winter and not having bronchitis. Yeah, or... Yeah. or uh, 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 what else do I get? That other thing. Uh, uh, not asthma. I have asthma from smoking, but I I always get uh, Bron bronchial bron bronchial at no. I get the bronchitis. Bronchitis. That's and right. then the other thing, the worst one. Uh, pneumonia. Pneumonia. Thank you. Yes, I'll take sickness for a hundred, please. <laughs> Already will take <laughs> sky's long for 30. <laughs> okay, no, I don't so, want any of that. Right? All right, so listen, everyone. guys, we're going to go to a break right now. And then, and then we're, we're going to start gonna, reading some people. Yes, and I'm going to come back and we're going to give you the number to call. So thank you for staying with us, and we'll be right back after this commercial. the Angels and Answer Psychic Radio Show with Clairvoyance Artie Hoffman and Sky Siegel every Thursday for a two-hour show, 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Transformation Talk Radio. Artie and Sky deliver spiritual and motivational messages with passion and a sense of humor. Call in 800-930-2819 for live and on-air readings. Visit ArtieHoffman.com and SkyOfAngels.com. Tune in each Wednesday at 1 p.m. Pacific Time, 4 Eastern Time on Transformation Talk Radio to Limelight Radio with Katina Macris. This is an inspirational, cutting-edge radio show educating worldwide listeners on a diversity of Lyme disease-related topics. Each week, Katina will interview some of the world's leaders in health, wellness, spirituality, and human potential. For more information, visit LimeLightRadio.com. Sky Siegel co-hosts one of today's most popular psychic shows, Angels and Answers, with Artie Hoffman as she communicates healing messages from the spirit world. These messages can be astounding, enlightening, and life-changing. Born with the God-given talent of inner guidance and the amazing ability to heal, Sky has healed thousands of people. Schedule a reading with Sky now. Call 908-500-1474 and visit skyofangels.com. All right, all you beautiful people, welcome back to Angels and Answers. You're with Sky and Artie. And if anybody wishes to call in for a free little mini reading, call 800-930-2819. And right now we have a wonderful person all the way from Connecticut, and her name is Trish. Hey, Trish, how hey, are Trish. you? I'm great. Thanks for taking my call. Oh, thank you for being patient. Oh, we're so sorry. No, it was interesting, actually. I don't smoke, but I found the conversation very interesting. Well, thank you. Well, good, good. Thank you. I hope there are people out there who can. Um, oh, there are be, there's lots of people who are going to benefit. Yes. They're I, I just hope they can because I want to see everybody healthy and happy. No more sickness, you know, and yeah. cigarettes really make you sick. So what can we do for you today, my love? Is it about love? Oh, I 
Yes, it is. I've been dating someone for eight months. It's been a little bit of a roller coaster and trying to figure out where this is going to go. Okay. All right. Uh, to be honest with you, what they're saying is, believe it or not, your best, what is that? I this can't is what I call the happiness card. She's not going to be happy until she goes on her next path. I feel as though uh, your happiness is coming. But it's not here yet. It's not here just yet. And um, you could still keep on dating him. And um, if there's some way that you can make this friends with benefits, that would be awesome. But the angels, from what I'm reading and from what she's reading, she has a separate um, uh, set of cards. Um, you know, we, we look at angel cards. Um, but my angels are saying to explore. And they're saying just be happy oh in the God. moment. Look and they're this. saying just be in the present moment. <laughs> And, and don't try to overly analyze. Right. Just allow the relationship to naturally take its course. But Sky and I believe that, you know, this is not going to be your, your last one and only. No. And I think from freedom, you're going to possess the power to create your own happiness. Because I feel as though you need to learn how to create your own happiness without somebody else around you. And then when you can do that, then is when you're going to really realize what your happiness is and invite the one of your dreams right into that. Yeah, don't feel like you have to be committed in this relationship. Um, you'd be doing yourself an injustice and you'd be sending him false illusions. But I, I really feel that if the two, but you could still enjoy each other's company, but just, you know. No way to draw the line. But just, yeah, just reevaluate it and just, you know. Enjoy hanging out with each other, but, you know, as far as this just being just a monogamous relationship, you're going to see that it's not going to stay that way. And, you know, you'll end up being just kind of slowly wean off, wean off slowly. Right. And, uh, you know, again, enjoy each other's company, but also enjoy other people's love because I, we feel there's somebody else out there that's even better than what you feel like you already have. Right. And not that he's not a nice guy. It's just the overall dynamic and the chemistry. It's not, he's not the right chemistry for you. And you know, in the big ball of wax. Yes. In the big ball yeah, of wax. Yeah, in the big picture of, of the schemes of the world. But let me tell you this. I always tell a lot of my clients who are going through this type of thing, I always tell them, if you can draw that fine line between having fun and enjoying each other's company and falling in love, I say go for it and have a blast. Don't define it and don't keep score. Right. But if you can't do that, then you, you, you have to make a clean break. You have to make a clean break, right. But you're going to see that you're going to end up meeting your next fella like under the most wildest circumstances. It's it's going to be like maybe while you happen to be at a concert and he happens to be at a concert. Or, you know, it, it's just going to be a spontaneous moment. And that's clearly what the angels are saying. But they're saying, but don't try to figure it out. Just enjoy the moment. That's just all. Go with the flow. Just, just go with the ride flow. The wave. Exactly. Ride the wave. Okay, but there is going to come a time where it is going to be a little painful of trying to say to him, you know, look, you know, thanks, but no thanks. You know, I have a feeling also that um, actually I'm being told that loneliness is an issue for you. Am I correct? Uh, I think, yeah, I think there's a bit of that. Yeah. And I also want to tell you that you need to have patience because that's what they're telling me. Patience is everything. Never feel that you're going to be lonely because you're not. But you need to have that patience. If without that patience, you're going to pick the wrong one. Your life is going to be a disaster. Yeah. Don't don't feel like, you know, you have to or like, oh, my God, just all right. You know, if it's right. meant to be, it's meant to be. Try to take it more nonchalantly. And I understand it is very hard when, you know, when you're dealing with love and emotions and stuff. It's very hard for people just to take it easy because everybody wants to be in that loving relationship right. and that connection. And uh, literally enjoy, enjoy the flavors of other people. Right. And you know what? Happiness always comes in divine order. So what I'm, what we're both telling you is don't worry about being, being lonely because you're not. 
Forget about it. Forget about it. That's have what we patience. say in New York. Have New patience, and it's headed your you're gonna, way. You're going to be fine, though. That's the bottom line. Yep. So you we're want excited it, for you. We're excited for you. Right, we are. But just don't, you know, try to make this a monogamous, monogamous, long-term don't relationship. Settle. Don't settle. Right. Please don't settle. I feel like you're, tr you're trying to make the best out of a bad situation. I don't feel like it's super bad, but it's just. No, it can, but it's but not it could be, But it could be better. You know, we, you, do you understand what I mean? I do. I do. All right. All right. You're, but you're going to be great, Trish. Trust me. God bless Thank you. you. Both so Take much. care. Bye bye. Okay, folks. If you'd like to get a free reading from Marty and I, call the studio, and the number is eight hundred nine three zero two eight one nine. And if you want a reading, a private reading with Sky, my number is 908-500-1474. And that one isn't free. <laughs> and the other one that isn't free is, is if you want a private reading from myself, a uh, detailed private reading. Um, well, Sky and I both do psychic and mediumship. So, and, it uh, goes we, hand in hand. Right, really. it goes hand in hand. And uh, my number is 877-ANGEL. Zero two and my that number. Yeah, thanks. You are. Your number is easy to remember too. I know. I love your number though. And go to artiehoffman.com. A R T I E H O F F M A N dot com. You want to know something? I got to tell you. You know, there, 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 there's somebody else from New Jersey who wants to be read, and we'll, and we'll get to you right after the next commercial break because we're winding Don't down. Don't hang on up, commercial. guys. Don't hang up. So, you know, a lot of people say, you know, how can you read people over the phone and how does that work? And don't you have yeah, to be how with does that them? Work, buddy? <laughs> and I still don't know. I just know that you can do it. I don't know exactly how we do it. It's just no, but it's all about energy. It's all about, you know, the angels are the one who gives us the answer. So it's like, you know, distance means nothing. And some guy. Because we use our intuition in all, in all aspects yeah, of it's life. All, you're right. It's all intuitiveness. Wow, that's pretty wild. Right. And so, you know, so I, I was talking to a fella yesterday who wanted to get a reading from me. We set up an appointment, a phone reading, and I didn't, uh, you know, uh, do his session yet, not until uh, next week. And he's from California. I and, love and just as uh, he started talking to me, all right, or as I was dialing his number, because I, you know, I got his number on the voice message. And as I'm dialing his number, I already started getting messages about him. Yeah. And I kept on seeing those meditation balls, those Chinese balls that you put in your hand and you like, you know, ravel it in your one hand. And it's a form of meditation. And I, and I said to him when I first started talking to him, I said, you know, I said, just to give you a heads up, I said, you need, it would be benefit you if you got Chinese balls. And I didn't mean to sound like, uh, you know, sexual or anything. And yeah, hold them in your hands, <laughs> ravel them in your hand. This guy cannot stop laughing. And he says, you know, what's that? And there she goes with the snorting. So she's laughing. <laughs> we might have to take a commercial break like 10 minutes early. You know. <laughs> so the thing is, is that you get him at spiritual shops and he says, you know, that's really interesting. Excuse me, could you imagine if this fellow was Asian? Yeah, really. Oh, he definitely was an Asian by his name and everything else. Thank so, God. Yeah. I know what you talk about. What you talk about. Uh, oh, I love I Asian hold my Chinese people. balls in my hands. So anyway, so I so he says it's really interesting because I was looking at a book. She's dying here. I was look, she, he said, I was looking at a book in regards to meditation because he wanted to know what meditation to do so that he could zone in. And uh, it was really interesting that I was able to pick up on that without him saying a word. I just automatically said it. Because you're good. You know you're good. And you no, know but, you're that good. No, I it's not that I was that. amazed, but I was just simply saying just the fact. No, and he's in California. So distance doesn't make no. a difference. It's not like, oh, yeah, well, after 50 miles. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yeah, our, we, yeah it, for some reason, we the just GPS can't see it. goes off. <laughs> yeah. All of a sudden, you know, our, our radar, our zonar just isn't yeah. there, you know. Actually, like guys. Ridiculous. I love to do phone readings, and I'll tell you why. Because as soon as I hear your voice or hear your name or I read your name, like Artie, I start getting messages. I'm not distracted by looking at you fuddle with your fingers or look at you, you know, with your body around. language. 
are, yes, I'm not distracted by anybody's body language. The messages come through loud and clear, and they're very direct. A lot of times when I read people, I have my eyes closed, and you're sitting, and, and these are people who are sitting right in front of me. Yes. And, they're, and I have my eyes closed, or I'm looking away, because a lot of times when we describe things to you, or to other people, you know, people are looking at us like they have to go to the bathroom really bad, like they have to take a bad crap or something. They got that look like I gotta go really bad, you know. That, and they're looking at you like, yeah, right, you know, okay. uh, yeah, yeah, uh huh, you yeah. know, this very judgmental, uh, skeptical, yeah, uh, like yeah, right. And it's like you want to know something? I really don't care about that. And so, like, I'll just keep my eyes closed and I'll stay in my zone, stay in my zone, stay in my zone, and then I'll open my eyes. And then after reading somebody, you know, I'll, like. I'll open them up maybe 15, 20 minutes later, and they still have that look on their face like, you know, they have to go to the bathroom really bad. So it's like, you know, what do I care? So anyway, I'm just – we're just expressing ourselves, and that's all it is. We're not looking for your approval. We're just telling us – telling you our gut feelings, and that's a true blue psychic. We're not going based on how you look or what you said, or based on us, it, we're listening to the other side. But right yeah. now, we got to go for a commercial break. So stick around, because Sky and I, we're going to be right back right after this commercial break. We sure are. Angels and Answers Psychic Radio Show with Clairvoyance Artie Hoffman and Sky Siegel every Thursday for a two hour show, 2 p.m. Pacific, 5 p.m. Eastern Time on Transformation Talk Radio. Artie and Sky deliver spiritual and motivational messages with passion and a sense of humor. Call in 800 930 2819 for live and on air readings. Visit ArtieHoffman.com and SkyOfAngels.com. Naturopathic doctor, founder of the Martha's Vineyard Holistic Retreat, and author of the New York Times bestseller, 21 Pounds in 21 Days, Dr. Ronnie DeLuce has helped tens of thousands of people, including celebrities and athletes, with her message of lifestyle change. Now, Dr. Ronnie DeLuce wants to help you. You, too, can be saved. Email Dr. Ronnie DeLuce at info at ronniedeleuceonradio.com and visit mvholisticretreat.com. Dr. Ronnie DeLuce, your partner in wellness. Holistic Medical Center is where you find it all. A healthy space with doctors who care, see, and listen to the whole you. Hi, this is Dr. Darvish. If you have not found an answer to your chronic symptoms, you will find answers here at Holistic Medical Center. Our doctors find the root cause of your symptoms and guide your body towards healing naturally. We transform lives from within. Visit drdarvish.com or call 425-451-0404. Each month, listen to Live More Radio with co-host Ali Katz. Join Ali and Dr. Pat as Ali introduces new ways to bring balance back to your life through meditation, sleep, and exercise techniques so you can live your truly authentic life. Stress less. Live more. To learn more about Ali, visit atlzenmeditation.com. Artie Hoffman is the hottest psychic with the warmest heart and the host of the hit show Angels and Answers. A renowned psychic, medium, spiritual life coach, and an entertaining motivational speaker, Artie has helped over 15,000 people with his amazing intuitive gifts, his passion, and his humor. Call 877-ANGEL-02 to schedule a personal reading or to have your own psychic Artie party. That's 877-ANGEL-02. And visit ArtieHoffman.com and Angels and Answers on Facebook. 1230 WPLQ. All right, welcome back everybody You're with Artie and Sky and if anybody wishes to get a free mini reading just call us at 800 930 
1-9. And right now we have somebody from what? Denville, New Jersey? Yeah. Christina. Christina. Christina, you there? Yes. How are you, baby? Okay. Speak up, honey. Yeah, I'm okay. What? Hello. What? Yes. What? Um, Christina, hello? hold on just a second, honey. Hold on just a second, because I am. You are at very. You are a good friend to people, but sometimes people are not good friends to you. I'm feeling that about you. Okay. Um, and you take it very emotionally and very personally. And it's something to take personally. But I think you need to be a little bit more, um, you need to pick your friends a little bit better. I think you shouldn't be, allow yourself to have very quick emotions about people before you get to know them really well. Like, Don't be afraid to ask people for help. Yeah. You have, a, you have a hard time asking people for help, and I feel like when you start reaching out there that you're going to start getting the kind of help that you want, but you're afraid to ask for help because, I don't know, you're afraid of rejection or you're, I don't know, it's like you're comfortable with giving but not receiving, which is very common amongst women. But um, I, I feel like that's a major issue, though, with you. Does that sound right? Um. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to ask you something too, Christine. Uh, are you going through a, a period in your life right now of grief? Like, you're, have you lost something? What was that? Are you going through a period of grief? Yes. Yeah. Um, is it that you lost a loved one or is it that you've lost a love? A loved one. Excuse me? A loved one. Okay. I just want to know because I know that you're not getting enough empathy. Um, I want you to accept what's going on. Acceptance is key. You've got to learn to accept the things that you can't change, my love. You have to learn that. And that's probably one of the hardest lessons in life that you ever will have to learn is to accept what you cannot change. Do you know that? Yes. Was was this a man that you lost? Yes. Okay, because because I'm feeling like this person was like a, he was almost like a martyr, and I don't mean that in a bad way. It's just somebody who was always filled with you know saying righteous stuff or pretty confident in who he was and what he was saying to you or to others, yes. he was just, you know, he was just, you know, always wanting to give good sound advice. And, and, you know, when he was in your company, he made you feel loved. He made you feel secure. Is this, is this the one? Yes. Why are you blaming yourself for his death? Really why are you, myself. why do you have, why are you holding blame? Or is it that you're, you feel guilty that you weren't there? No, neither of those. I feel as though you're you're accepting responsibility, and you you shouldn't be you shouldn't blame yourself for anything that happened before or after the crossing. Did you not get to speak with this man? Did you not get to say your true feelings? Right. Yeah. Okay. That's a form of blame. You're blaming yourself. That's also going to be key to the acceptance of of the loss and grief takes a long time there's many stages in grief that you have to you have to get through hold on two seconds yes, what, what, what she's feeling is that i i'm getting the impression from her that i wish i was able to express my true feelings yes, to this fella so to let him know how i really felt that i never got yes, that chance right does that sound right yep exactly Right. And, and like I said. Well, he knows now. Trust me when I say he knows. Oh, absolutely. He does know right now. It was just more or less for your own being. Right. That you wish you did it while he was physically alive. But trust us when we say he 100% knows exactly how right. you feel. 
And that's why I say you're blaming yourself. Don't put any kind of blame on yourself at all. And I'm not saying you're taking responsibility for his death. Of course not. But you're blaming yourself for not being in the right place at the right time to say the right words. But like Artie said, you can say them right now and he absolutely hears you. Okay? I'm going to tell you this. Okay. And, I, and I'm getting this in my, in my strongly in my mind. I want you, after you hang up with us. Hello? Hello? <laughs> no. Yes. no, after you hang up with us. I want you, or within the course of the day, I want you to ask him to show you a sign that he's around you. He is going to, sh he, and, and ask for a specific sign. Yes. All right? Uh, and he will be able to deliver you a specific sign to let you know that he's with you and that he understands you based on our conversation right now. Right. And it's probably going to be way overwhelming, uh, tremendously uh, overwhelming for you when you experience his presence. And I don't mean just him showing up in the middle of the night as a silhouette, which does happen, which would be really cool. And you got to call us next week if it happens. Yes, it does. But ask him, uh, specifically, like if you're around me, please show me this or please have that or whatever, you know, and, and I really believe somehow, some way he is going to fulfill your wishes. Right. And you know something, I'm also feeling as though you're letting a lot of things uh, pass you by because I see that you're, you're forgetting to look at the good things in life. You're only dwelling on the negative. And you need to have more discipline. Um, you can accomplish so much in your mind with discipline. And I think that relates back to what I said in the beginning. If you, there's nothing you can't do. And during this, during this morning period, if you just accept and if you just become disciplined by not allowing yourself to, um, you know, to, to not sit accomplishments in your life and to not let your mind go where it's got to go and just fixate on one thing you don't allow that to happen then you will be grieving but you're going to heal yeah you know? and i just want to know if my daughter is okay huh and i just want to know if my daughter is okay what's your daughter's first name vanessa <gasps> what a beautiful name i love that name Thank you. All righty. With Vanessa. Is Vanessa in high school? How, how old is she? She's a child. I'm feeling like she's, very, she's way above her age. Yes. Uh, she's, very, she's very crafty. <laughs> you want to know something? Nurture her in her creative mind, in her creative world. And uh, you're going to see that she's going to grow because it's going to be the creative side of her that's going to give her all the confidence that any parent would want their child to have. It's through the sense of creativity, whether it be whether it be drawing or singing or playing music, but it's through creativity that her confidence level and happiness is going to grow, and uh, and, and you'll oh be God. fine and she'll be fine. But you we know, got we got to cut for a commercial break now, honey. Yeah, I feel she's Thank grieving. You. Also. What was that? I feel that she's grieving also. Did you know that? Yes. 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 Okay. All right. Well, listen, God bless the both of you. We yes, got to go honey. for a commercial God break. God bless you. Thank you for calling in. Thank you. Please call back again. Bye. All right, sweetheart. Take care. All right, everybody. This is Artie and Sky. You're with Angels and Answers. And we're going to get back to you right after this commercial break. You've been listening to Angels and Answers Psychic Radio Show with clairvoyants Artie Hoffman and Sky Siegel. Tune in every Thursday for this great two-hour show at 2 p.m. Pacific and 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And remember to call in at 800-930-2819 to get answers from your guardian angels and loved ones. Artie and Sky have helped thousands of people with remarkable accuracy as they tune in, use their intuitive gifts and inner guidance, and communicate with people's angels and loved ones who have passed. 
passed on. To schedule your session, call Artie at 877-ANGEL-02 and visit ArtieHoffman.com and call Sky at 908-500-1474 and visit SkyOfAngels.com for personal or group readings. And tune in next week for this fabulous hit show. 